All right, welcome to the OMG Hour Reviews. We are going to be talking about Shadow of the Tomb Raider, which of course came out about a week ago. Uh, we've been playing it for the week and we are really, really excited. Now, yes. Tico, you finished the game already. I finished. So we. This is interesting because we both have very different play styles when oh it comes gosh. to these sort of games. Yes. So I have, I my play style is... I mean, I'll, I'll grab collectibles if I see them or stuff like that, but I really like to continue the story until I've finished that. So I've fired through the entire thing uh, where, Sean, you are still where? I am still twenty between 25 and 30% complete the map, um, and you're already done the game and cleaning things up. So you stream, yeah, so. you mainlined it in, like, I think two days you were done. Two days I finished, and I, again, it, it helps that I don't sleep, so I played late some yes. nights and stuff like that. Uh, completed game, uh, I was at about 75% complete um, when I when I completed the game, so that's of collectible story um, and, and, and all that, about 70, yeah, 74, 75%. So now I have to go back in. Now you're 30%. I am having 30%. so much fun with this game. Yeah, I'm clearing as much as I can before. When I yeah. play games like this, I get to an area and I don't continue the story until I've completed that area. Finished found, everything. Found as well, I finished everything I can because Tomb Raider games are notorious for giving you tools later in the game that you yes, then need, that you to, need go to go back, back. And then you can go back and complete certain areas. So, which is fine. I do what I can before continuing yeah. the story. Now, Tico, what I did find out about this and we'll talk specifically about the game in just a minute but i find that uh i've realized that by doing that chico i sort of lose track of what the story is right and and that's why i continue the story now the funny thing is because i'm going back to try to do collectibles and stuff now and and some of the side missions and a few of those things i've lost track of where i'm supposed to go to get the right. next step so like right. I have to I have to go like I was like oh, it gives you the things like oh yeah talk to this guy but I can't remember which city he's in, what area of the like which camp I have to fly off to, um the yeah. the ascender that you have to find at some point I don't know where it is I can't find the person with it because they're not marked on the map. Good. So if I didn't grab it at, at, during that time as part of the story, I am now lost. So it's kind of funny we both have the other person's you know like we're like the the thing that I've done means i got to experience the full story and it didn't and didn't really lose any of the the you know that content where you know i've lost the ability to really focus on doing the full cleanup and collectibles because right. of that and uh, and that's what's great about this game is you can play it um well not that you can play it out of order it's not really open world it's you get to no. a certain you go to a certain map and there's a bunch of stuff to do in that area then you continue the story move on to another map do a bunch of stuff it's quite linear that way um but there's there's always collectibles every tomb raider has collectibles and relics to find and you know stuff like that caches tombs tombs to finish yeah lots like right off the bat the game starts and in the first area i come across a hidden challenge tomb like right yeah. away, and this is awesome. Every level has a has one or more challenge tombs that you can just go in and do, and it's got um, uh, crypts as well, which you go in and find. You get skill points by unlocking a crypt. Um, yeah. Now, what I really liked about this game, this version of the game, Tico, is the difficulty levels. So it's not just easy, medium, hard, right? For the yeah. game in general, they've given you easy medium or hard essentially on three different aspects do you want easy medium or hard um combat easy medium or hard exploration which would mean that if you want uh difficult exploration then there's things you can climb on are not marked with white paint yeah right you have to figure out where you can climb where you can't and then there's easy medium or hard or difficult whatever they call it for puzzles like the tomb puzzles, where I, that determines how many or how much hints you get, or what glows when you use your your instincts. Yeah, or or what she says, because like she, and that's that you right. get your hint. You go like go to do so. She's like, I have to jump down there in order to get to this next step. Right, and that to me, um, I don't like when she does that. I prefer using. I prefer. I think I put it on hard puzzles, and yeah. maybe medium exploration or hard exploration i can't remember but um for the sake of story i put it on easy combat because when i play tomb raider i enjoy the exploration and the puzzle solving that's why i play yeah. these games right but i will say that the combat in shadow of the tomb raider feels so much different than the previous games because it's yeah. very stealth based 
you know. Oh, not the way I play. Uh, well, no, sure, the, you you are not. But for as someone who enjoys stealth, they've yeah. built it that you can play f like really stealth wise, going through the grass, climbing up on trees, you know, grabbing guys and dangling them from a tree. You can put mud on your face and actually. Like uh, lean up against these mud, mud walls, and you actually blend the, the, in. The, yeah, the uh, the predator, the predator thing Pre from yeah. uh, the first predator, where Arnold's like hidden in the mud. It basically, does the same thing, covers herself in mud, yeah. hides in a muddy embankment. And it's and, really uh, like even to the point where, as a player, when I move her up against the muddy embankment, I almost lose track of where she is. The blending yeah. is so good, right? Yeah. Um, really, really enjoying that. Um, I mean, the combat, I, I've put it on easy, so I'm not, I have no issues with combat. Uh, I'm sure later in the game it'll get a little more uh, hair-raising, but I There's have found this, that... The, some of the boss battles are a bit more. Sure, and, and I expect that. That's Any Tomb Raider game has been like that. But in the hours and hours I've played so far, Chico, I've found that I've only come across required combat like maybe three times. There's not a lot, of, I have noticed that there's not a lot of combat in this, um... There is like there are certain there are certain you know set pieces where you have to stealth through an area where there's enemies, but there is it's more exploration than combat yeah. in this one. A lot of story, a lot of puzzles, a lot of exploration, a lot of um, I'm going to say there's a lot of things in this game that instill personal fear, like yeah. drowning, the, uh, the cl claustrophobia, first... claustrophobia yeah. in uh, or sorry underwater. Well, yeah, because so the very first, one of the very first set pieces is you you have to climb out of a cave. Yes. And so you're underwater and and you're you're running out of air and you have to climb in and it, the camera gets nice and tight and you're crawling through this like very narrow passage. Yes. And I found myself holding my breath as I'm right? trying to get out of there. Yes. Like as I, I'm feeling anxious and as I'm trying to as, as I'm trying to get her out of there, pressing the button, holding up. And, and you're I'm underwater. Like yeah. holy cow. There's a lot of and, underwater set pieces in this. Like the first yeah. game was all about, I think, f was it snow in the first game and fire in the second? I can't remember yes. which, right? Um, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and now this one seems to be a little bit more about water dangers. You know, a lot yeah. more swimming and underwater because this is Peru. This is jungles, the jungles of Peru, and lots of water, and and it's just the environment is beautiful. Like wow, the environment is incredible. You yeah, know? and then there's these, I, and I, I, have, I don't know what they are yet because I've only come across them once. There's these creatures that are attacking Trinity, and they're making these god awful sounds in the background. Like, like I can't even make the sound. It's so horrible. Yeah, right? but yeah, I was, so... I was, I was legitimately afraid as I'm playing through that section. Yeah, yeah, you get to there's they, there's there's more sections I, like that. Oh, I I don't doubt it. Like, why introduce it if you never see it again, right? Like, yeah. wow, I am, I am thrilled with the game. I think it's a fantastic new entry into the into the trilogy. My concern with this, personally, Tico, is I yeah. hope this isn't the end of Tomb Raider. Um, I, 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 I want more. I, I yeah, I do want more. I want more. More like the, of these games. Make more of these games. It can't be that hard to do. Just, you know, fire out a couple more. Um, Three more. Another trilogy for me. Well, that's just it. I, I wonder if they're going to come out with another trilogy. Because this trilogy really tells the origins of Lara. Uh, how she became who she was when we first met her way back in the 90s. You yeah. know, with the original Tomb Raider. This is that prequel story. All three of these is how yeah. she became Lara Croft Tomb Raider, you know? Yeah, retell but, this. Retell, but I want... retell like not not necessarily retell, but like give us her her early work, yeah. like you know, yeah. like uh... yeah. I want to see this continue. You know. Yeah. Um, I think it's a it's a great reimagining of the Tomb Raider game. Uh, I know there's some diehard fans of the original Tomb Raider that just don't feel like this has the spirit of the originals. Um, they they need the triangle boobs. Well, no, it's the it's the fact that in, in quite. Uh, quite seriousness, Lara has become a cold-blooded killer in this game. Oh yeah, I've murdered so many people. Right? She It wasn't really about that in the originals, you know? She didn't just sneak around killing people for no reason kind of thing. Yeah. You know, it's not like you can go kill the villagers, but when as soon as you see an enemy, you're just you know, they haven't seen you, but you're just going to sneak up behind them and stab them in the neck. And I, I don't 
Again, I, I, I'm not going to say that you can or can't because I absolutely have not tried to do it this way. But I believe that you may be able, like, there's areas where I think you can sneak past. You like, can. Your, your goal is the end thing. You don't have to kill anybody. You don't have to. I think there's places where you kind of need to because they're in your way. But I agree. With the with the stealth aspect, with the putting mud on you, uh, swimming, yeah. you can swim underwater and they won't see you. There are ways, I believe, of getting around without actually killing people. Or at least not, you know, as many right. people as I probably killed. Like, <laughs> Do you just do run and hundreds. gun in this game like you do all no, the I, I, No, I actually really enjoy the bone arrow, so I do I do actually try to do the stealth thing where I'll, I'll okay, that guy's separated, okay, headshot. That guy's separated, okay, now headshot. Yeah. Like, I try to do that. I get to the point where, depending on how many enemies and stuff like that, it's like, okay, these guys aren't walking away from, forget it, I've got a shotgun. They're gonna, yeah, you know. Uh, but wonderful new um, iteration of Tomb Raider. Seriously, I am I am enjoying it. If you have enjoyed the previous games in the series, uh, there's no reason why you won't enjoy this. It's it's just as good. It's just as beautiful. Uh, just be prepared to actually be legitimately afraid and yeah. uh, legitimately afraid of drowning, because. There are so many underwater sequences, and there are dangers underwater now too. It's there's not, piranha. Yeah, there's piranha that will eat you if you don't have don't swim through the reeds and stay out of their way. Yeah. Um, and you you have to swim really far distances, so you need to find these air pockets in order to breathe. And they're not the easiest thing to see at times too. No. Like if you're if you're not like if you're playing on hard difficulty and you're not getting the the glow effect of some of these things. Oh, that right. Because in, in hard difficulty for exploration, uh, certain things will not be highlighted for you. That's the whole point yeah. of it being hard. Um, so I think, like I said, my difficulty is somewhere in the middle uh, where I've picked easy combat, but difficult puzzles and maybe medium exploration. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, it's, it's fantastic. I am really, really enjoying it. You've completed it, but you're going back to finish this. I am. Is that I'm going back because I. Yeah, I'm going back in. I am finding it a little more difficult, like because I, I go it's like, oh, go and talk to this guy, or go because I need the ascender and I know where it is. I know it's some woman who I talk to during the thing who sells it as a. She becomes a merchant and sells stuff that after you say, but she's not marked as a merchant on your map. So now I'm trying to remember exactly where she she is, which is kind of frustrating. But, yeah, and yeah, if she's not marked as a merchant, yeah, that would be difficult for sure. So that is Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Of course, it's out now for PS4, Xbox, and I believe PC, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I believe you're correct. Yeah. Yeah. So that Shadow of the Tomb Raider, if you are a fan, definitely check it out. It is fantastic. And if you're not a fan, if you haven't played Tomb Raider, I suggest you go back and play the 2013 game. Tomb go Raider. back and get them. Um, yeah. It's been remastered out on uh, PS4 and Xbox yes. Remastered Edition. I'd be uh, Rise surprised the if they don't come out with a trilogy box set. No, they should. They absolutely should. Yeah. They should. Or at least a digital box set of some sort. Yeah. So that is it. Thanks so much for watching uh, this episode of the OMGR Reviews. This has been Shadow of the Tomb Raider. We'll talk to you another time. Take care, everyone. Bye, guys.